Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It is currently cold as f in Calgary right now. I don't know what that is for you guys that use the other weird temperature measurement. So uh, anyways, uh, today I'm going to be taking my uh, connecting rods to the machine shop to get fitted and resized with ARP hardware. ARP doesn't actually make a specific RB30 rod bolt specifically for RB30s, so you know, just Nissan things, they kind of mix and match parts. Uh, you use one that kind of fits, and uh, SR20 fits the best out of all of them, so I got the rods in this box back here. Uh, I'm gonna take them down today. I know a lot of people were asking, can I do like a specific RB30 like guide video series on this? And uh, at the moment right now, I can't really do that just because there's not enough content to do it on. Um, like taking the block to the machine shop, waiting a couple weeks, getting the rods, waiting a couple more weeks. I mean, once all the machine work stuff is done, so block is out of the way, once I get these connecting rods back, I'll be able to just get bearings and stuff, and uh, yeah, I will actually do like a dedicated video series to the RB30, so uh, be sure to keep your eye out for that. Like we said, we just got a bunch of stadium stuff to put on these things. Also, out of box, full of orders, that need to be shipped out. Once again, thank you guys for your never ending support. Uh, we wouldn't be where we are without you guys. So seeing the boxes like this pile up with orders, appreciate you guys. Thank you. Look at this. All right, so the slam retire is looking a little flat here. But uh, does anyone else have this where uh, gas stations charge for air? It's a dollar fifty to fill up for air, and uh, on top of that, it's way too cold to be out filling tires with air. So hopefully, it lasts me till I get back to the shop, and then uh, we'll fix it when we get there, I guess. While the engine is waiting to get like service and ready to be put together, I'm trying to work on as many side projects as I can just to keep myself busy and active on the car. I was gonna move my like climate control into the center console there, but uh, I actually used this center console compartment, so things that I'm never gonna use go in this thing. And uh, yeah, like I have so many random bolts and tools and little things that never got used, but I know I put them there just in case one day I will need to use them. Uh, thumbs up if you guys are the same way. This is like the layout of inside the car. Initially I was gonna do like a dual gauge setup in this little section here. The cigarette lighter is broken. It kinda just sits in there and flops around. This is very nice. This climate control sits in that little top pocket there. What I decided I'm gonna do is actually just cut this out all together and have the climate control at the bottom of the dash. So rather than up top there, uh, I'm gonna have it sitting right by the shifter and then uh, I'll make like a face plate over here to put gauges in and stuff. Alright, you already know courtesy of the good neighbor Ray got this uh, cutting jig so I'm gonna cut up this plastic piece. I also yesterday made up this uh, infamous like fuse box cover thingy. Okay, so here's that cigarette lighter that I told you is like all busted up and ugly looking. So maybe I'll relocate this somewhere. It's useful for like charging phones and stuff like that. So I may need to cut this bottom part out of there too. It's uh, interfering, but yeah, essentially this is gonna sit there. Uh, there's the opening of that thing. It's kind of rough around the edges, but uh, I could sand it down still, and uh, I am planning on wrapping this piece afterwards, so that'll definitely clean it up a lot too. Right, so I've now successfully ruined the interior of my car, pretty much. Like, uh, where's that plastic piece? Yeah, I just trimmed a whole bunch of stuff off of there that I don't need anymore. And now I got a sick custom climate control placement. I've got all this blank canvas to play with. Should be pretty cool when it comes together. I mean, like this is the most extensive like work that I've done on the car. It's been pretty much fully stripped down to nothing inside and out. So 
It's nice I could see like all the wiring and stuff that's back here. I'm gonna clean it all up and put this thing together as a completely different car than what it was last year. I also got my uh, intercooler mocked up on the front here. Obviously I can't do the piping yet, but that's how it'll look. Last year I had a black one. This year it's gonna be nice and shiny. Oh, dude. So, so much better, hey? Man, I had like all this cool shit last year and then I remember that man. With my hood popped so at the bad. show, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all melted oh, underneath yeah. and like lumpy, so I sanded yeah, it down. Yeah, but still have the diagram on the inside. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it looks good from the outside. Last night was just like a a work chill mode, getting some stuff done and well, like, that's I, I'm getting so excited to start working on my car man. Like I wanna get in there this weekend even and start like laying out what I have to do and what needs to be done. Come on, let's get it. <sighs> Get we're so running. Excited. We're running out of time. Yeah, like, yo, it's getting... we, it feels like there's a lot of time till spring, but it's less than like three months away. So. all of this stuff. It's been a while since I've gotten this many parts. Yeah. Right. In one order. All right, who wants to go first? Yeah, so we're pretty much just going to go through what we got one by one and explain you know, a little bit about why we got them and just what everything is, you know. So David's race yeah, car things up. over here. All right, so right here we got uh, Turbo Smart 38 mil wastegate. Yeah, obviously for my manifold, turbo is going to be externally gated, so this was a must. I'm going to be dropping this off with my manifold. To yeah, because Wynn still hasn't done that uh, flange yet for you, right? Yeah, yeah so that's so. what he's got to load on. Yo, show that. You, where is your manifold? It's in there. Oh, yeah, don't forget the precision turbo for this thing also. Hey! I knew Whoa! That was going to <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to come out quiet. Yeah, sneak. Pretend Jesse's an SR20 right now. Just like this. I'm not as good as a 2J. <laughs> <laughs> what do you gotta say, <laughs> just do this? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, somewhere here, like this. Like that. That's how it's gonna look. Are you gonna pump it back in your exhaust too? Yeah, right. As of right now, the idea is instead of just having a screamer pipe going down, it's gonna be pumped back into my downpipe. So, yeah. so Screamer pipe is an inline thing, right? Not as loud. Yeah, I'm well, inline four. In, yeah, so inline. It's an L. Screamer pipe is a six cylinder. <laughs> yeah. We'll save it for the big boys. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you cut to that clip. Speaking of big boys, this is a. Uh, David's got the I little. Guess Charles is going next. <laughs> <laughs> David's got Not the done my parts. Little but, uh, 38 mil, and uh, well, we all got wastegates. I just happened to get a 45. You know, big block RB things. I got this blow off valve, so. It's gonna work a lot better than my old uh, little really cheap eBay HKS, HKS. And uh, just these little lug nuts, cause like, it's super small. So yeah, those are the new ones. Yeah. We kinda all got the same thing, really. And like, these were the old ones, so like super tiny, and, like, just, you know. Yeah. It's, it's these, autofocus, these, right? these other ones will, uh, yeah, this camera's awesome at autofocusing. Yeah. But they're yeah. all aluminum, so they're super light. And they'll, they'll stick out, like, give yeah. it a nice yeah. look in the dish of the wheel. We kind of already see it. Yeah. And then a uh, good old uh, buddy of ours came by and gave us fire extinguishers the other day, so <laughs> super stoked about Going that. Going race car this year. Yeah. Yeah. So you, know, you know a car is a race car when it's got a fire extinguisher inside. <laughs> that's that's the legitimate. And these are these are legit fire extinguishers, too. Like, they're not the eBay kind. Yeah. Like, those so. cheap ones that just, like, spray, like, you know, water. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it for me. What about you guys? Alright, so I got a few things for both my builds. <coughs> Starting off, uh, this is just the air filter. So I'm going to be building an intake for the Aristo. Uh, get a little bit more turbo noise, you know, some cool air. And then I also got lug nuts for the Aristo. I already have black ones for the Supra, so these are just for my aftermarket wheels, the Whistlers. Uh, and then also got a fuel pressure regulator, so this Does is a Does that mean Sard. you're getting tuned? Yeah, so I got a Sard FPR. Uh, this is going to be going on the Supra, obviously. Um, 
Yeah, it's actually really nice. There's like full instruction manual and everything. Yeah, this is gonna be along with my fuel rail upgrade and injectors, lines, everything like that. So ne definitely a necessity. And it also came with a SARD um, gauge here. So this will help with like diagnosis and just, just nice to know yeah. what your fuel exactly. pressure is if you ever want to know. Making sure everything is in check before you go ripping on it. Uh, I also got this like D1 spec catch can. Oh, yeah. I so forgot to mention I got one. Yeah. Yeah. We all, we all, we all did. I also got a Tile 50 mil blow off valve. So this is also for the Supra. I I already have one of these for the Supra, but I'm gonna be running two blow off valves this year yeah. because he doesn't want the compressor surge. Yeah, I'm yeah. sick of compressor surge. You guys remember the way Jesse's car sounded? Yeah. Sounded sure. sick. Sounds but sick. But so didn't, didn't you say yeah. you got tired of the flutter yeah, after I, a while? Yeah, I did. I got really tired of the flutter. The flutter's cool, but it gets old quick. Sometimes I just want like a nice firm, which, you know. Well, while Jesse's gone, uh, no, as no, you guys no, no, know, no, 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 no. <sighs> we got, we got a, just about to get on the roll. Just hold on. We got a box full of intake piping, so we have like it's intercooler piping, and there's intercooler was... piping. I'm gonna be building. <laughs> my charge piping with this uh, and I'm also going to be doing yeah the intake for the Aristo out of this stuff so yeah lots of stuff here and uh, yeah I'm going to be taking one of those pipes over to hey why don't you suck on this for like for two minutes oh, That's like a yeah. <laughs> we need a, like a table saw to uh, like cut all the yeah, pipes seriously. yeah and Charles I guess you can go next yeah well I'm pretty much here. starting from scratch so I've got the most parts because my car needs the most things. You guys are your cars. Your cars are all complete already. But uh, yeah, like wastegate, blow off valve. Uh, I got a throttle body, which is huge. Like I think it's a 90 mil. You know what they say about uh, list, that? It's listed as a 90 mil, but I measured it out, and it's a little bit bigger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tinder guys. Baby. And uh, yeah, also a new intercooler to go on my car. Uh, I pretty much sold like all the aftermarket parts for my car to get new aftermarket parts. So, it yeah, was your gauges at my gauges. Yeah. Is, oh, they're in the car already. Yeah. Um, pretty much all of us are going to be redoing our intercooler piping. So, if you've ever wondered how to build your own like piping and route it, you're gonna you're gonna learn soon. Yeah, yeah it's it's, it's super that. easy stuff. Yeah, like I did it on my car last year. And it's as simple as just like mocking it up, marking it, and cutting yeah. it. Parts are going to be going onto the cars, like yeah, lots of like installs, like Lego, and yeah, coming up quick as you can see. So this is what you guys have been waiting for. Uh, yeah, finally, I'm just happy we're able to like start doing this stuff and putting work in towards this season. Well, the clip David is going to show you is like literally what we were yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Right, there it is like kind of mocked up it's not the best like a uh, bracket system but it worked last year I think this year I might get someone to come and like make some custom brackets and uh, get this thing look sitting like 100% straight because uh, right now it's kind of shifted over to the left a little bit but it shouldn't be too hard to, to make brackets for that Okay, so I got a template made just to fill in the gaps. It's uh, kind of ugly looking without this. So this is just to cover up the hack job that I did. We got Blade Master. Blade but to Master. cut me a piece. Uh, yeah, this is a relocate. Uh, I'm just going to smooth out the edges, the outer corners, and then uh, probably rivet this so it's one piece. So there's like the completed uh, faceplate with the climate control change, and uh, I just cut this piece, so this one's going to sit up there, and I'm going to work on like a gauge configuration for this, so yeah, interior's coming together. I don't want gauges and stuff like sticking out all over the place 
Uh, that's the reason why I got rid of this A-pillar because it had pods there before. So yeah, I'm going to do like a triple gauge setup there. Um, this is a nice touch. Looks fucking sick. Quick update on the slammy. This bitch is still flat. Kind of want to see like how long I can drive before anything serious happens. But it's too cold to fill up right now. Maybe I'll do it later. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the upcoming build series coming up. It'll be coming quick and fast. Super stuff coming soon. I'm, I'm like itching to get some work done. Please. Dude, so <laughs> I want to get into the garage and start doing some super stuff. And now I got some parts. So. Yeah. yeah, and uh, check out the playlist section on our channel if you guys want to see like car specific videos. So like videos relating to David's S15 or Jesse Supra yeah. or My Skyline. Even like the, yeah, Winter cool Beater, cars. Winter yeah. Beater series builds. The Slammy's got its own playlist. We could make one for the Aristo too. Stop shucks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, be sure to check it out. Victoria, yeah. do it or you're not cool. Yeah, Ooh, and like a lot of you guys have been si yeah, check out our new channel art. Yeah. So a lot of you have been saying you haven't been getting the notification for when we upload a video, so... Just search us up. Oh, who's right there? And, uh... Click that little bell right there. Click that bell. Ding, ding. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up. You guys saw what we got today, Yeah. So. This is, like, nothing compared to what's gonna happen this summer, so... Nothing. Hype is real. Yeah, should we do, like, a challenge for the three of our colors? Like a build challenge, something that gets, gets the people gets going. going. It's provocative. Something example, provocative. Example. I don't know, like... Hey, if you guys have any like ideas for challenges that you guys want to see us do, anything like... Right, I gotcha. Anything that we can like build our cars towards. Yeah. Right? Like a purpose, things to do. Purpose to build our cars for, other than just having other than badass cars. cars. Yeah. Anything you guys want to see, leave a comment down below.